Okay, and we're back. Welcome to uh, the walkthrough. Well, not walkthrough, but the Let's Play. If this was a walkthrough, then I'd just get every single item in gear and capture every single Pokemon, but I'm not that obsessive-compulsive. Not even me. Like, if I wanted to, I'd, I'd wait until I got a male Nidoran with a hasty nature, or, you know, a, a jolly nature. That's a good nature to have, because it raises the speed, and it lowers the um, special attack, which Nidoran hardly uses anyway. I mean, you can use it, but I don't recommend it. His physical attacks are a lot better. Uh, anyway, let's see. Where were we last time? I forget what we were talking about, but that's all right. I'm not, I'm not playing as good as I could be playing because I'm kind of preoccupied talking to you guys. I'm, I can play a lot better than this. It's just that speaking kind of puts me in a different frame of mind. It's like multitasking, which I don't, I'm not bad at it, but, you know, it kind of hinders. It's kind of like spreading out the experience of these Pokemon. It makes them less capable than they could be. You notice how Ivysaur is level 18? I think I said this in the uh, recording that got deleted. I'll say it again, though. Um, yeah, you got an ether. Yeah, you got a TM. I think that's Thief. Uh, in the last recording, I'll say it again. You get... Darn it. Now, what was I talking about, Tim? Help me out here. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, multitasking. Yeah, yeah, I shouldn't be multitasking. I spread out the experience of Pokemon. And Ivysaur, he could probably hold his own against Misty's Gym right now. I mean, right, like, right this second. So, now I shouldn't train him up anymore, but I, I should save the experience. But I'm going to train him up anyway. Why not? Because Nidoran's about to faint, and I'm kind of running a little bit low on healing items. But that's all right. Now, this PowerPoint training is bad right here. Like, you see how this Zubat, um, it, it's a speed Pokemon. And Ivysaur is deliberately built against speed. No, he's, he's not a fast Pokemon at all. You, you don't want Ivysaur. Uh, to be gaining speed points, but let's see. I'm I have not run into any Geo dudes in this cave yet, and I'm itching to try this double kick out. Oh well, whatever. Okay, here's this paranoid hiker. He's like, "Whoa, you shocked me! Oh, you're just a kid." I, I guess it's kind of my fault for sneaking up on him, but even if he can look directly at you, you know, he'll be the one to have the little exclamation mark over his head, and then he'll walk up to you, and then he'll say, "Whoa, you shocked me!" And then you're like, what? You walked up to me! Alright, so he's about to use Geodude. I'm going to push my luck here. I'm not sure if he can knock me out, but I'm going to risk it. So, you know, he used Defense Curl. The computer is not that smart in this game. Okay, so Nidoran's about to level up. I'm just going to let him get half the experience of this Onyx. This is a really good place for training up Nidoran. Because... Uh, I mean, you get speed bonuses and you get defense bonuses. And while Nido King isn't exactly lacking in defense, you know, it's nice to have more defenses. You now, attacks, yeah, they're all right, but defenses, every Pokemon needs defenses no matter what. So anyway, I've got a Nido Reno, and uh, just to humor you, I'll, I'll fight one Pokemon battle with him before I use this here Moonstone. And see that Geo dude? We finally get to use Double Kick. Boom, boom, and. I'm sorry, some of you guys might have noticed by now, and this is my fault. Um, you know, go to the option, I turned off the battle scene because I wanted to hurry up and get back to the part where I was whenever I lost the recording last time, but now I'll turn the battle scene back on. Anyway, um, so you got to see Nidorino in action, and now I'm going to raise him up with the Moonstone that I just picked up. And... Like, it, right now I do the Link getting an item music, like da 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 You know, because, check these two out. Nidoking stats, Ivysaur stats. Nidoking stats, Ivysaur stats. We did this once in Pokemon Yellow before we thought about recording a game with Pikachu. And Pikachu is like a lot of work to train. You actually have to spend a bunch of experience um, 
getting him up to a competent level, and he's still no good. Like right at the beginning of the game, he'll be good. He'll he'll have thunder shock, and he'll do a decent amount of damage. Look at Nidoking. King. That is so freaking awesome. He looks ready to do a falcon punch, doesn't he? <laughs> That's exactly what he looks like. Falcon punch. But um. Pikachu just, you know, I'm sorry fanboys, fangirls, Pikachu really sucks in Pokemon Yellow. It, you can't even level him up to, you can't bring him up to a Raichu, and not even, Raichu isn't even that good. I mean, he's alright, I'm not saying he's a bad Pokemon, he's between like average and above average, I guess. Now, he can be useful if you give him Thunderbolt and, um... Nasty plot. That's a pretty good combination. But you no, know, Raichu will get killed in one hit in a lot of battles. So I don't recommend it. Now, if you're going to play Pokemon Yellow, you no, know, get what you need out of Pikachu for the first little bit of the game. Then for the rest of the game, depend on your um, Nidoran, which becomes this beastly Nidoking. And. What's the electric Eevee? And Tim. Tim says to get the Electric Eevee in that game. I'm just saying, get the three starter Pokemon. Don't even waste your time on Pikachu. Oh, yeah. sweet, a Clefairy! Okay, so, um, let's see. I'm going to do a save state because you know, I don't want to waste your time, like I said. Let's see, save game, state two. So, if this Clefairy gets knocked out by this peck, uh, he might or might not. Oh, wow, not even close. Okay, so Clefairy, you sing on me, that's all right. And Clefairy, one more peck ought to bring it down to um, low enough health to capture. I'm glad I got those 10 Pokeballs before. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to toss a Pokeball. Now, some people, they'll get Nidoran, Nidoran Female and Jigglypuff, and they'll use their two Moonstones on those, but not me. Okay, let's check the nature of this Clefairy. This is a lone oh, we got a sucky Clefairy. A lonely nature, that means that attack power is going to rise, but then defense is going to fall. Clefairy is a special attacker Pokemon. It, it's not supposed to be used for physical strikes. And, I mean, if you if you're just looking at the morphology of its body, you can see that it's not a heavy puncher. Of course, it, let's see. I didn't even get to see what he was... Oh, there we go, Sandshrew. I should have summoned... Oh, whatever. Nidoking can handle this. Nah, you can't. You know, when they lower my accuracy, that's always a good excuse to switch Pokemon. Like, I don't like keeping Pokemon in when their accuracy is low, because then I waste time missing them, and you guys kind of lose out. Uh, Tim's not doing his job again. I've only got <laughs> I've only got two minutes left in the review, but that's all right. Um, you know what? If we see another Clefairy in this cave, we'll catch that one instead. But if not, it's, it's no big deal. It really isn't. Um, I like... I'm not going to be, you know, using Clefairy a lot in this game. Like, both Clefairy and Nidoking, neither of these guys are going to appear in the Elite Four battles. I'm, I'll say that right now. Uh, whoop. There's a rocket. What Nidoking is ultimately useful for, I'm training him all the way up for one encounter. Just one. Once we go to that abandoned factory place, uh, later on in this game there's this abandoned fa factory. And it contains um, the god of electric type Pokemon in the Ho I mean, not the, in the Kanto region, Zapdos, which is my personal favorite, by the way. And Tim says I got him. Yeah, thanks. Okay, er, now I'm mad. You made me mad. Team Rocket will blacklist you. Yeah, they'll keep coming after me one at a time. So, um, anyway, before I end this recording, I, I had a little more to say, but you know. If I forget, it couldn't be that important. Um, I'm just going to pick up this Moonstone right here. This is the second Moonstone, and you can use it to evolve Clefairy and make it immediately useful, just like Nidoking. Uh, I'm not going to rely on it, but Nidoking... I'm sorry, Nidoking's purpose. I'll wrap this up quick. His purpose is to last against the battle uh, in the battle against Zapdos, because he's a ground-type, so none of Zapdos' electric-type moves will hurt him. I don't think Zapdos even uses any, but... Um, he's got a high defense also, so even if Zapdos uses Drill Pack, it'll, it'll be alright, he'll survive. Anyway, thanks for listening, we'll be back soon.